A double honor to the apostles and the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers. Teaching and truth and in sincerity. And this lesson is going to be entitled, Of the Woman Came the Beginning of Sin. Okay. And if you want to add something, whenever, bro. All right. Go straight into it. Yeah, go straight into it. All right. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verse 6. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food. Now, this woman was Eve, saw that the tree was good for food. This new philosophy that she received from um, this man, which had um, a serpent, which is a, a crafty minded behavior, Dumb. which which had the spirit of Esau. Dumb. A serpent was the most subtile of all the beasts. That's right. Mm -hmm. It says, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took the fruit thereof and did eat. Meaning, how did she eat? Meaning that, uh, you know, she really got into this way of life, man. Come on. You know, go ahead. And gave also unto her husband with her, and well, he did eat. Likewise, and he did the same thing, man. So she brought this way of life to her husband, which was Adam, man. Come on. Okay. And then also... Uh, on my Bible, you got the precept on that on that on that uh, on that scripture, you know. And this bagging the brother point up, going about he's talking about the philosophy, man. Esau's mm -hmm. philosophy that that what would be now today the American dream, mm -hmm. you know. And this is a uh, First John two and sixteen, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father. But is of the world, right? And that is actually the philosophy. <laughs> that's that's that apple. That's that fruit, man. Uh -huh. You know, because the scriptures are symbolic. But uh -huh. you have to understand the spirit, because at times you're gonna have scriptures that are just straightforward, which will be literal, uh -huh. and then you're gonna have scriptures that are symbolic. And then you, I just thought about it too. I, what they call New York. The Big Apple. The Big Apple. <laughs> so is New York actually the Big Apple? <laughs> that's, the, that's the headquarters of who? Who the serpent today? The elites. That's one of their headquarters in New York, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so that same spirit that was in that serpent, you know, which was a man, all right, that serpent, that same spirit went to Cain, and then that same spirit came back as Esau, man. Mm -hmm. And who was uh, uh, the elites of the Esau, man, all right? Uh, uh, the Rockchilds, Rockefeller, DuPonts, uh, and so forth, man. Mm -hmm. And they are in London today with the nickname the Big Apple, man. It's spiritual, man. Child, you know what I think? Hey, just to prove that point that the Apple was actually uh, symbolic, Come get on. Isaiah 3 and 10. Come on. Oh, this is the book of Isaiah. Also, he and that's like I said, and that serpent was Esau in the spirit, man. Okay. That was prior of him losing his pigmentation, man. Okay. This is Isaiah chapter 3, verse 10. It says, Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. They shall eat the fruit of their doings, man. So okay. if you eat, you know, if you reap good, you're gonna, if you sow good, you're gonna reap good, man. Okay. That's all it's saying, man. All right, bro. Um, we started at 17, 3 and 17. Come on, bro. And it says, uh, this is Genesis 3 and 17. Mm -hmm. And unto Adam he said, because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake, and sorrow shalt thou eat. Of it all the days of thy life. Right. And that's the reason why we have to till the ground today, man. Mm -hmm. Because why? Because there was a curse for Adam going off, man, listening to his woman, man. Mm -hmm. Because basically the woman is supposed to be subjection under the man. Okay. She was created to uh, bear children and also to be a helpmate. Mm -hmm. But as a also as that curse for her uh, going off, you know, her desires supposed to be to her husband, man. Mm -hmm. Right. You got some whatever? Uh -huh. No, I was just looking at some. Oh, yeah, I think back in 18. Mm -hmm. And it says, thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee. So when you see thorns and thistles, man, that's a curse, man. Okay? Why? Because, you know, Adam went off, man. 
Go ahead. And saying, thou shall eat the herb of the field. Right. And the reason why, you know, we have to eat the herb of the field because we get sick. Okay. Herbs heal you, man. That's the purpose of us eating the herbs of the field, man, okay. to cure our um, our sickness, man. Okay. All right. Verse uh, 19, mm -hmm. it says, in the sweat of thy face uh, shalt thou eat bread. Right. So you have to work hard to get it, man. Okay. No free meals, man. You actually have to put in work to get your bread, man. Okay. You know, because, hey, wait a minute. The earth, supposed, well, actually, the earth was a paradise, man. Right. You know, because we went off beginning with our forefather, Adam, man. This is the curses that we have inherited as well, man. Okay. Because we all, you know, as men, we follow Adam. I mean, right. follow Eve, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but see, by Eve transgressing and Adam following, all right, that put uh, the state of the world, the state of the planet Earth in the condition that it's in, man. That's right. You know, like the brother said, man, all right, through Eve came the beginning of sin through her. We all die, man. That's right. You know, that's right. And it's no different today when your woman is telling you to try something new. Come. You know, bring you. That's a philosophy as well, man. That's her bringing that uh that uh forbidden fruit, man. Uh, you need to go to church, or you need mm -hmm. to invest in this, or invest in that. You need to be more open minded. Open minded is death, man. Come. Okay, that's that's a, that's what Eve came to Adam with, man. To be more so open minded, man. And when you're open minded, you accept these things, man. Come. You know, he said, um, he said, for out of it was thou taken, for thus thou art, and unto thus shalt thou return. That's right. All right, that's cut and dry right there. Okay. You, uh, the Ecclesiastes. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's that uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter twenty-five, um, verse twenty-four. Mm -hmm. Of the woman came and the beginning of sin. And through her, we all die. Right, and that's the reason why we die today, man. Because that woman of her became the beginning of sin, man. But you got Jake that worship these women, man. Come on. You know, and they pattern their lifestyles based on something a woman said, man. Well, you need to treat a woman like this, or you need to do that, or you need to be more um, uh, accepting to this type of behavior or this matter of life. However, a lot of those Jakes get that bullshit from either their their horse ass mothers or their um horse ass sisters, man. Come, on, man. You know, because this our society, you know, what people deem black culture is uh is ran by the woman, man. That's right. You know, that black culture, man, that's why that black culture has no foundation, man. Mm -hmm. That's why we gotta come back to our true heritage, man. Well, Isaiah said, remember yourself, men. You know, because this culture has taught you that the woman is equal. She ready to be praised. And really, the woman is above you, man, in this society, man. And following Eve still and people following Eve to this day, man, has led you to the LGBT, Black Lives Matter. All right. Uh, transgender bathroom. All right. AIDS. You don't know who the baby dad is. All that came from the uh, philosophy that Eve partook in the uh, in the garden, man. You know, mm -hmm. I got, I got a precept for you, all since okay, you just on. said that. Uh, this is um, Luke eleven and twenty seven, and it came to pass as he <coughs> spake these things, which is Yahweh Shai. States a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him, "Blessed is the womb that bare thee." Come, man, trying to give. Or uh, uh, trying to exalt a woman, man. Mm -hmm. All right, trying to exalt a woman. She came to your house, shy, trying to exalt uh, his mother, Mary, man. That's right. You know, but that's the same thing that's going on in the miracle, man. It's all about exalting the woman, Mother's Day, all right, uh, uh, Valentine's Day, you know, uh, 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 Christmas. Mm -hmm. You know, all these things are are uh. uh are made really to exalt the woman, the queen of heaven, man, which goes back to ceramics, mm -hmm. all right, uh, mm -hmm. all those Babylonian customs, man, all right, worshiping the woman, man, even the emphasis, you had them, uh, you had one of the, um, the idol makers, you know, he had confronted Paul about that, uh, about, you know, Paul spreading the word, and people weren't worshiping Diana emphasis that much, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, there was a Jake's worshiping women then, man. Because if you go do your research, Diana emphasis was a was a uh, she was an Israelite, a, 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 a idol of an Israelite woman, man. 
You know, and that same thing is put heavy in America, man. The the worship of the woman, man. Mm -hmm. You know. All right, let me move on. Oh, yeah. All right, and it stays back into the scripture. Um, yeah, Luke eleven and twenty seven, and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that that bear thee, and the paps which thou hast sucked. Come. Verse twenty eight. But he said, Yea, rather bless. Are they that hear the word of the Most High and keep it? Come, man. So he shut that down quick, man. Yeah. All right, she came to him trying to exalt Mary. No, nah, man, it was about exalting the Father, man. That's mm -hmm. all Yahweh Shah was doing was exalting Yahweh, man. You know? But the women always want to jump in front and get all the fame and the glory, man. All right? Ain't no woman, ain't no woman ever uh, 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 took no kingdom before. Ain't no army of women ever took no kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know, but they quick to jump in in the spotlight. Women want that spotlight, that fame. You know, because the men go take the kingdom, but the women partake in the comforts of it, man. Yeah. You know, but they quick to want to take all the glory. They they ain't did nothing, man. Right. Ain't no such thing as independent. You didn't build that Nissan out. Okay, you just brought it. You ain't build it. You ain't build that house you were staying in. You just stayed there. Uh, you ain't made none of your clothes. So you're not independent, man. It's an illusion that, that the serpent, all right, which today will be the so-called white man that he put out there, man. And you still taking partaking in their fruit, man. You know? God. I got a quick Go ahead, bro. It said, because it say, um, because I'm going to read this again, Ecclesiasticus 25, 24, of the woman became the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Then we're going to link that up with uh Timothy 2. First Timothy two and uh thirteen, it said, For Adam was first born, then Eve, and Adam was not the seed, but the woman. Right, right. So the serpent then comes to Adam, man. <laughs> Why? Because he's a stronger vessel, man. But yeah. see, this this fucking world is so upside down, they teach you or they instill in you that women are smarter than men. Come, no, man. the serpent was crafty enough because he knew if he went with Adam. He, Adam would have shut him down, man. Okay. So what did he do? He went through the weakest vessel, man. Went Eve, man. He went through Eve, man. Okay. And it said, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Right. And that's that's where the <laughs> sin came in, man, because <laughs> she was deceived. So basically, if the serpent would have came to Adam through the spirit, he would have just rejected that shit, kept it moving. But the transgression was... Hey, the serpent went to Eve, and then Eve um, got involved in this new manner of life, and she brought it back to her husband, man. Come on, man. And that's the problem with you women, man. You want that, you want that attention, that fame, that spotlight. But when it go bad, then all of a sudden you throw your hands up like, yeah, yeah. It's, and then now it's our fault again, right? Oh, cause it, you, cause I know my plantation pastor when I was in church. He tried to say, well, uh, see if see. Now he was wrong, but see if Adam, see if Adam was, was a real man and still strong, you know, then it wouldn't have happened. But no, Eve made that decision, man. All right, she was there. She made that decision, man. All right, now Eve, now Adam did go off by mm -hmm. following Eve, That's right. you know, because we're not saying that all the blame is is on Eve, man. That's but right. Eve, but the, see the way our women built, they don't want to take none of the blame. Right. But according to read that scripture again, though, bro. <laughs> it said, uh, the second, I mean, first Timothy chapter two, verse 13. For Adam was first formed, then Eve, mm -hmm. and Adam was not deceived. Mm -hmm. But the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Yeah, and hey, you can't get around that scripture. But like <laughs> you say, your your pastors, man, they're not gonna bring, they're not gonna present that, man. Come. Why the spirit is not with them, and they do come across that scripture. They got these gag orders where they can't present that in church anyway. Because a part of that Esau's way of life is to um, decline or esteem your woman, man. Come, man. You know and that's 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 uh you, the and this was shown indeed in this example because all this all these scriptures all these on um, testimony in the scripture like Romans fifteen and four everything four times read for I learned. Mm -hmm. Now we see why a woman can't make no decision. Mm -hmm. All right, Eve was that example. See why a woman don't make no major decision like that. Women supposed to be making uh simple decisions, man. All right, a, a woman not supposed to make no decision that affect the whole uh nation of people, man. 
right. because she doesn't think long term. She think right now, right mm-hmm. now, right now. Mm-hmm. And that's what you see, especially with our women, right now, right now. These women don't, ain't thinking long term, man. That's right. They don't see the long term effects of homosexuality. That's right. They don't see the long term effects of GMO food. Mm-hmm. That's why it's, it's so easy for Esau to push it on, push it on our people because our people is ran by the so called black woman, the tribe of uh, Judah, man. That's right. And the other tri- and the other uh, women of other tribes follow them, man. That's right. You know? And just to build on what you're saying, bro, because hey, at the end of the day, a woman, like the brother is saying, is she she's short term, okay. and at the same time frame, she's emotional. Okay. You know, all her decisions are based on a pattern of emotions. Okay. It doesn't go with the logical aspect of thinking, man. So that's why she feels like this today and tomorrow it don't make sense. Right. Because why she lets her emotions drive her thoughts instead of letting your thoughts drive your emotions, man. Okay. You know? Uh, what you yeah, uh, if we get Proverbs 31 and 3, then we're just going to get two examples. Okay. Um, it's the book of Proverbs 31 and 3. It says, Give not thy strength unto a woman, nor thy ways to that which the scroll of kings. Right, right. So you don't supposed to give your strength to a woman, man. And that's basically uh your, your mind, man. Okay. Or your riches, man. Because okay. women, man, they can't basically um, you know, handle riches because why they base their stuff on emotion. So let's just say if your woman is upset with you and she got the checking card. You know, but she may not drink. So what she'll do, she'll just buy up a whole bunch of shit. Come. But that may, that may be money needed for the children Come. or for the household or for just for um, a rainy day um, fund, man. The car breaks down or somebody gets sick or something like that, you know? Come. Like the brother said, the woman, the one, like they, 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 they will push, in, in especially in the Western civilization, that the woman is uh, smarter than the man. That's mm-hmm. not true, man. Like the brothers of how had got to one time. The w- reason why women excel in school over men is because they are uh, they are born servants. They are born to take orders. Cause that's how the school system is set up. Mm-hmm. You taking instruction. All right. Men are hands on, man. We you we we are more of a conqueror. All right. Not sitting down being a subjection, man. All right. We are more of a conqueror, man. That's why uh, uh these women you no know, excel in schools, uh, uh, you no know, on the, on the, on a larger scale than men. But at the same time, your biggest, your best inventors are are, are the men, man. Right. The women, the men who do, you know, kind of actually, you know, kind of like their school stuff. But for the most part, you know, we got the spirit. You know, that brother probably been a spirit. I mean, a warrior in his past life. Mm-hmm. You know, or he probably was a carpenter or something. Right. You know, why is he? Uh, uh, in, in 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 all these crazy classes, and he likes to work with his hands, mm-hmm. man. You know, but like I would say this, this society will try to push that the women are smart, which is a lie, man, because they don't have the capacity, I right, to really budget budget like a man does, man. Mm-hmm. You know, because a man is thinking about every angle, right. all right? Because that's why you see a lot of women live above their means, because mm-hmm. they try to do the simple math, like, well, I make this much. So I can afford to pay this, but they don't take in the gas, what you got to eat. The maintenance. <laughs> yeah, the vehicle, maintenance of the vehicle. You know, the upkeep of your lifestyle. <laughs> right. right bro. They don't look into all that. They mm-hmm. just look, well, this cost this much. I make this much. I can get it. Yeah. You know, but they don't go into detail because they don't have that compassion like that. Huh. You know, that's why I don't see no women breaking down these scriptures like that, man. That's right. You know? Right. Hey, bro, reread that again, that same scripture. Come on. What, what else? It was uh, Proverbs 31 and 3. Come on. I just want to get that Hebrew word for um, way. Come on. It says, Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to debt. Which the scroll of kings. All right. And then the ways in the Hebrew is on Strong's H um, 1870, and it's pronounced as the rock. The rock. And it means manner, habit, course of life, man. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? As an Israelite, a man of the Lord, man, we are created to basically be over the woman, man. But when you become subjective, or, you know, per se, under rule of your woman, man, then you're giving your ways to that woman, okay. which destroys kings, man. 
All right. And the first king we're going to go into is uh, King Solomon, man. Salakia, uh, King, king David. David, the account of King David. 6 17. Uh, 2 Samuel, the 11th chapter, bro. 6 Samuel 11. Yeah, 2 Samuel. Yeah, sorry, one. Bro. It says, uh, this 2 Samuel chapter 11, verse 1. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass after the year was expired right. at, at the time when kings go forth to battle that David sent Joab and his servants with him and all Israel, and they destroyed the children of Ammon and besieged Rabbah. Mm -hmm. But David tarried still at Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass in the in an evening too that David King wrote tied. Each like in the evening tide that David arose from off his bed and walked upon the roof of the king's house, and from the roof he saw a woman washing herself, and that the woman was very beautiful to look upon. That's right. And David sent and inquired after the woman, and one said, Is not this Bathsheba the daughter of El Eliam, the wife of Uriah the Hittite? Okay, Uriah the Hittite. Is actually an Israelite. Mm -hmm. No difference if you had a brother by the name of John and he lived in, uh, what would you say, New York or something. Mm -hmm. He would be classified as John the New Yorker. Mm -hmm. That's no difference. He's still an Israelite. Yeah. But he was classified by that landmass which he came from or where he was presently living upon. Yeah, I was shot in Nazareth. There you go. Man. Let me see verse. Elijah the Tishbite. Come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it says, and David sent messengers. And took her, and she came in unto him, and he lay with her, for she was purified from her uncleanness, and she returned unto her house. Right. So basically, David committed adultery, man. And not only that, he got her pregnant, man. Cool. And if you want to add, bro, chip in, continue, continue God. Right. And David said to Joab, saying, Send me Uriah the Hittite. And Joab sent Uriah to David. Mm -hmm. And when Uriah was coming to him, David demanded of him how Joab did and how the people did and how the war prospered. All right, now we're just going to jump down, bro. Get to the point. Um, I um, started verse 12. 12. Mm -hmm. Okay, he said, David said to Uriah, Terry here today also, tomorrow I will let thee depart. So Uriah abode in Jerusalem that day. And tomorrow, at this time frame, King David had a plan, man, a wicked plan at that. Go ahead. And when David had called him, he did eat and drink before him, and he made him drunk. And at evening, he went out to lie on his bed with the servants of his Lord, but went not down to his house. And it came to pass in the morning that David wrote a letter to Joab and sent it by the hand of Uriah. And he wrote in the letter saying, Set ye Uriah. In forefront of the hottest battle, and retire ye from him that he may be smitten and die. So basically, David had him assassinated, man. Uh, you know, you know. And it said, and it you came. We uh, that's the point. Jump uh, down to uh, uh, verse twenty-seven. Verse twenty-seven. Mm -hmm. And when the morning was past, David sent and fetched her to his house, and she became his wife and bare him a son. But the thing that David had done displeased. You have by Shemal Shaft. Right, because that's a sin worthy of death right there. Okay. But that goes to show you that you have by Shemal Shah has favors, man. And just because King David was spared uh, from this uh, atrocious sin, it doesn't mean other brothers can do that same act and come out like David. Okay. However, King David still received hell, man. Okay. No, go ahead. Okay. Say something. You just, um, you know, following week. To that woman, man, mm -hmm. you know that's 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 the that's the downfall of a lot of uh, great men, man. Mm -hmm. Even on the low level, you seen with Frank Lucas mm -hmm. when she bought that jacket for him, everything yeah. was good. Mm -hmm. He wore that he wore that meat sitting on the front row because what that woman likes what their pride of life. Mm -hmm. She wanted to stand out. Right. Frank Luke was more low key. Mm -hmm. He was thinking about the long term. Right. She wanted to stand out that night. Mm -hmm. All right, and, there, and that's when the investigation started on Frank Luke. Who who was this nigga way up here? He got better seats than, than 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 the mob boss. That's right. You know, but you know, like you say, man, these women, you know, through her became beginning to sin. Right. You know, so if you follow after a woman or follow weak for a woman. Then death is, is around the corner, man, or a great fall, man. Because like you said, King David didn't die, 
But he, 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 he go into that zone. Right, right. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Yeah, just, you know, <laughs> great, great hell came to the household for that, That's man. That's right. The sword was in his household. His mm-hmm. own son had him on the run in the wilderness, man. That's right. And while he was in the wilderness, you had other men sleeping with his wives, man. Mm-hmm. You know, you, uh, you know, uh, uh, your how made David like a laughing stock, man. That's right. And great, and he was a great man, a great mm-hmm. renowned man. That's right. You know? That's right. But you can jump to uh, Second Samuel twelve and nine because you have a beautiful overview for it, man. Okay. This is uh Second Samuel uh, chapter twelve, verse nine. Mm-hmm. Wherefore has thou despised the commandment of Yahweh? Now this is the prophet uh, Nathan talking to King David. Go ahead. To do evil in his sight. Thou hast killed you ride the Hittite with the sword, and has taken his wife to be thy wife, and has slain and has slain him with the word of the children the of the sword. With the sword of the children of Amos. Right, because this master man came from David being evil. Go ahead. Come. Now therefore the sword shall never depart from thine house mm-hmm. because thou hast despised me. So there's going to be death coming from within his household, man. Come. Go ahead. It said, now therefore the sword shall never depart from thine house because thou hast despised me and has taken the wife of Uriah the Hittite to be thy wife. Mm-hmm. Thus said Yahweh, Behold, I will raise up evil against thee out of thy own house. And who, is, who stands out? Absalom. Man. Go ahead. And I will take thy wives before thine eyes and give them unto and give them unto thy neighbor, and he shall lie with thy wives in the sight of this son. Meaning it's going to be public, man. Come. Go ahead, bro. And David said unto Nathan, I have sinned against Yahweh, and Nathan said unto David, Yahweh have also put away thy sin, thou shalt not die. Mm-hmm. How be it? Because by this deed, thou hast given great occasion to the enemies of Yahweh to blaspheme. The child also that is born unto thee shall surely die. And he lost his child in the process, man. You know? Mm-hmm. All right, bro. We're going to get one more example regarding that. Um, 2 Kings 11, 1 through 4. This is uh Second Kings eleven, uh, verse one. Mm-hmm. It says, "And when Athaliah, the mother of Ahaziah, saw that her son was dead, she arose and destroyed all the." You know what, Salaki, bro. Salaki, that's not it. First Kings eleven. Salaki. First Kings eleven. Salaki. Salaki. Mm-hmm. I think I probably. Oh, Cause I'm not really, yeah, I seen, but they were wicked what she did though. Was that? Uh, uh, his mom. Oh yeah. yeah, she killed all the seed out there. Yeah, she went to this spot. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's see, First King, mm-hmm. uh, chapter eleven, verse one. But King Solomon loved many strange women together with the daughter of Pharaoh. So there's nothing wrong with you dealing with <clears throat> the women of other nations, man. Okay. Uh-huh. But when you're doing it, you just have to be, um, and, and you have to do it in perspective. Come. Go ahead, bro. It says, together with the daughter of Pharaoh, women of the Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Zidonians, and Hittites. Man, e- hey, even King Solomon had women of the Edomites, man. Come. That would be your so-called white women of today, man. Come. Go ahead, bro. It says, of the nations concerning which... Yahweh said unto the children of Israel, You shall not go into them, neither shall they come in unto you. And this is the reason why Yahweh by Shem Al Shai did not want, you know what I'm saying, us to marry these women, man. It's okay to make them your concubines, man, but you ain't supposed to be joined to them, man. Yeah, cleaving to them. They're cleaving to them because when you do that, you know, part of you goes with them, man, Good. which is your mind, your mental strength. Good. And said, so You shall not go into them, neither shall they. Come in unto you, for surely they will turn away your heart after their gods. Solomon clave unto these in love. And that's what he did. He clave to these women in love. Go ahead. Come. And he had 700 wives, princesses, and 300 concubines, and his wives turned away his heart. His wives turned away his heart. Now, this is going into the reason why King Solomon sinned from dealing with these. <coughs> Concubines of these, which are women of these other nations, man. Go uh-huh. ahead. And he had, like I said, before it came to pass, 
But when Solomon was old, that his wives turned away his heart after after other guys, and his heart was not perfect. And that's the reason why he sinned, man, because his mind was turned away from Yahweh Bashem Shah to other gods, man. Mm. That's the sin, man. Now it's not a sin for for you dealing with other women, man. We're Israel, man. We like varieties, right? But it's a sin when basically you leave Yahweh Bashem Shah's way of life and you uh, adjure yourself to these other nations' lifestyle, man. That knows women influence you, man. Right, you know? right. And it said, um, it said, and his heart was not perfect with Yahweh, his power, as was the heart of David, his father. Mm -hmm. And that's the point on that, man. Damn. Now, bro, uh, go back to Proverbs 31 and 3 so we can just compel the point. Okay. The book of Proverbs, chapter 31, verse 3. It said, Give not thy strength unto women. Your mental clarity, your mental strength, man. Your mind, man. It's your mind. Go ahead. Nor thy ways to that which destroy kings. Your way of life to that which destroy kings. And we saw how King David was chastised by Yahweh by Shem for committing adultery. And we saw how King Solomon sinned. Um, um, he how he saying regarding dealing with these other gods, man. His mind left Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, and he turned his back on him, and he started worshiping um, these gods of these other nations, man. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Bia the one. And that was the reason of the split between Israel, the Northern Kingdom, and the Southern Kingdom, man. That's right. You know because it was prophesied that uh, you know uh, Solomon was gonna have the kingdom rent from him, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but because of David, because of David. Uh, was perfect, you know, uh, uh, according to his heart, his mind towards Yahweh by Shemal Shai, even though he committed adultery, you know, but we read Psalms 51, he had a contrary heart about it, and he still, you know, uh, uh, served Yahweh by Shemal Shai, man, to his best ability, man, mm -hmm. you know, but because of King David, that's the only reason why Solomon, uh, bloodline, the bloodline of Judah was left with the southern kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know, but because of what he did with those other women, you know, the northern kingdom was rent from them, man. Those That's ten right. tribes. And see, he was all set up in the spirit because what the Yahweh Shemasha informed King David that he was going to set his house through his son, Come. which his house, I mean, his son was Yahweh Shah. And the reason, ultimately, the reason why great men went off so Yahweh Shah could be that man. Come. So then you won't have to. Basically, compare and contrast what King David never seen. No, mm. he went off. King Solomon went off. Paul went off. So that dude would only have to be Yahweh Shah, man. The preeminence. Yep, the con. Con. Job 2 and 9, bro. Let me wrap it up. All right. Mr. Book of Job, chapter 2, verse 9. Mm -hmm. Then said his wife unto him, those that still refrain thy integrity, which is like retain thy integrity, mm -hmm. curse the most high and die. Right, because Job was catching so much hell, his woman get got weak and said, Hey, why don't you just curse your how about Shem Al Shah and die, man? And it showed you how a woman gets down or a woman gets down on um the road, man. Okay. You know, she broke and she was like, well, you know, they're going to come in, they're going to rape us, they're going uh, you know, to rape us, they're going to kill us, and then they're going to eat us, man. We kill it. We should kill each other, or so on and so forth, man. But she, 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 she broke, man. And ultimately, she loved her family, man. Okay. You know. And, and a lot of and a lot of you, um, a lot of you, uh, uh men that know you Israelite man that put so much stock into your woman. When Jacob trouble come, you gonna see, man. Mm -hmm. All right, because that's equivalent. What she's saying is equivalent to, especially if you Israelite woman. I mean, Israelite man, you got a woman. Now she knows what the mark of the beast is. Right. But when she start catching that family, all right, in their hell, she gonna say, uh, uh go on take the mark of the beast. Right. <laughs> you know? Right. What's, what you you know, take the mark of the beast, man. Mm -hmm. we, we gotta eat. Right. You know? Right. And then for you black conscious assholes, uh, uh riddle us this, man. You know, how can you be stronger than your God, man? Your woman can't bench press to 225 pounds, man. <laughs> she can't fucking dunk no fucking, no, you know, she can't dunk no ball, man. So how how can you worship something that you are actually stronger than, man? That's like you worshiping a fucking baby or something, man. You know? <laughs>
All right, keep going, bro. And it said, but he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the, thou speakest as one of the foolish women speak. So when your woman comes with you with that apple or that other philosophy, man, we need to be like Joe, man. Hey, you, you talking crazy, man? Get the fuck up out of here, man. So goddamn man. <laughs> What shall he said? What shall we receive? Good at the hand of the Most High, and shall not we receive evil? So, like Job is telling her, if we only receive just good, then basically, you know what I'm saying, that would make your how about Shem Al Shah uh, unbalanced, man. Okay. You know, and if you know, if you lift weights, man, if you got a 45 on one side, mm -hmm. and if you don't have nothing on the other side, what's gonna happen? That weight, tilt over. yeah, you are gonna tilt over, man. Keep going, bro. It said. And all this did not Job sin with his lips. Right. Hey, bro, reread that again. Start back at, uh, shall we receive good? Okay, it says, it says, um, this is back in Job chapter 2, verse 10. It mm -hmm. says, shall we receive good at the hand of the Most High? And shall we not receive evil? So receiving evil was a part of this lifestyle, man. And, and we need to go through uh, the trials and tribulations and afflictions to be purified, man. Go right. ahead, bro. And all this did not Job sin with his lips. So he kept his integrity, man. All right. Um, first Corinthians, yeah, first Corinthians seven and twenty-two. Okay. It's a book of First Corinthians, chapter seven, uh, verse twenty-two. It's first. About to hit the order. No, no, no. Um, you're about to press the pause there. I see. It's actually talking about, you know what, my slocky, go down a little bit. It was actually uh, 32. 32, okay. 32, yeah. Slocky. It said this first Corinthians chapter 7, verse 32. Mm -hmm. But I will have you without carefulness. He that is unmarried care for the things. That belong to the Lord. Yeah, so if you're unmarried, man, you're gonna your main focal point is gonna be serving and pleasing how about Shem Al Shah. You know, doing his work, man, <clears throat> being brotherly, man, pushing the ministry uh through the faith you have been given, man. Go, Go ahead, bro. There's no it's no interruptions, you know what I'm saying, when a woman is not here. Go, Go ahead. It says how he may it says on how he may please the Lord. Mm -hmm. Keep going, bro. No, not do not make this point. Bro. Because you know, like I said, we're not keeping, we don't keep stats or nothing, or you know, every man of the Lord was, was, was uh productive for the kingdom, man. What he was uh chosen to do, mm -hmm. but you, if you look at the overall picture, man, the two most productive men uh, in the ministry was Yahweh Shai and Apostle Paul, man, mm -hmm. and and the common denominators. They weren't dealing with women, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And to make that point, because hey, when Al Shah came as King Solomon, he got the experience. Come. And then we came back as himself. He was like, no. Love them hoes. Yeah, man. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> <the doubt. laughs> it said verse 33. But he that is married cared for the things that are of this world, how he may please his wife. And, and when you try to please your wife, man, that means you're connected to the world because your woman is part of the world, man. Mm. You know, and for brothers that have wives, there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? But you have to keep things in perspective, man. You know, you got to do the work first. You know, the ministry is all about your how your how shine the brotherhood, and then everything else comes underneath that underneath that umbrella, man. Mm. All right. Um, that scripture, bro, um, this is um, Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. Mm -hmm. It's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12. Or you know what? Just jump to 13. 13, okay. Mm -hmm. It said, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Yeah, so when basically the conclusion is the end. It's the grand total. It's the last episode, okay? Mm -hmm. Fear the most high and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. When you look into the Hebrew word of duty, it's going into your obligation. So your obligation as a prophet is basically to fear your Hashem Okay, mm -hmm. and what you're going to do is basically through your actions, you're going to please him by doing what you're supposed to do as, um, as, a, as a prophet. 
Right. You know, and they're just the uh, uh, the order, man. You know, we supposed to be uh, ministering, serving you, how about she mouth shot, and your woman supposed to be serving you, man. That's right. You know, that's the proper order, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so, I like say, you know, once you start serving that woman, you might well be serving this world, man, that's because right. a woman, that she, she, she is not rock, a woman is not rock solid like that, man. Yeah. All right, it don't take much to come uh, 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 deceive a woman. Like the brother said, that's why the serpent, all right? Uh, uh, which was the spirit of Esau, so-called white man, was able to uh, beguile Eve so easily, man, because he he knows that she's the weaker vessel, man. That's right. You know, so our rock is you have by Shema Shah. Right. right, and it doesn't and it doesn't shift. Come. It's a steadfast within the spirit, man. Come. And with that, Lord, will y'all edify? Shalom. Shalom.